During the 1980s, Saturday morning cartoons were as essential to a kid starting the weekend as Frosted Flakes. Though I'd flipped through the dial to try and catch as many as I could, the absolute constant in my rotation, without missing a beat, was Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Mad About Superheroes presents Retro Cartoon Review. Spider friends, go for it! The Amazing Spider-Man, a.k.a. Peter Parker, Bobby Iceman Drake of the original X-Men, and Angelica Firestar Jones were a staple of NBC's Saturday morning cartoon lineup from 1981 through 1983. Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends is a treasured piece of nostalgia that I often revisit, usually on a Saturday morning just like the days of my youth. The only difference now is I enjoy a few episodes while having coffee instead of cereal. The unlikely pairing of the amazing trio, who would become famously known as the Spider Friends, did not originate in the Marvel comics of the era, but was an original concept entirely comprised for this animated series. Though Spider-Man had crossed paths with Iceman in the comics, they certainly never became crime-fighting partners, and Firestar was a new character invented specifically for the series when showrunners were unable to acquire rights to Marvel's The Human Torch, a resident of the Fantastic Four series. Firestar resonated with fans so much that when Spider-Man and his amazing friends ended its run on television, she was incorporated into the Marvel Comics continuity. Firestar's creation isn't the only touchstone of the series. For instance, Wolverine's first animated appearance was in the Spider-Man and Amazing Friends episode of Firestar is Born. In fact, a fun trend of the series was its guest appearances. Among the series' occasional supporting cast of Aunt May, Flash Thompson, J. Jonah Jameson, and Firestar's pet pooch, Miss Lion, guest stars include Tony Stark Iron Man, The Submariner, Doctor Strange, Shaun of the She-Devil, Captain America, Sunfire, Thor, Black Knight, and The Hulk. Part of the series' charm is the playful banter between the three leads, and though Firestar kept Spidey and Iceman in the friend zone, every once in a while the two would compete for her attention. Alas, Firestar was too busy in a romance with Sunfire or swooning over the villainous Kraven the Hunter, though her crush on Kraven was short-lived. falling for me. <laughs> the first season kicks off with the spider friends tangling with the Green Goblin at a superhero costume park. All Marvel characters, of course. It's an amusingly shameless yet well-played bit of self-promotion. The debut episode, The Triumph of the Green Goblin, was also adapted into a Spider-Man and his amazing friends one-shot comic book. Other first season episodes feature guest villains, Kraven the Hunter, Doctor Doom, the Chameleon, the Beetle, Mysterio, Magneto, Loki, the Red Skull, the Kingpin, and Atari-inspired original villain, Video Man. Central Park, here I come. Second season standout episodes are all origin related. Firestars features the X-Men and the Juggernaut. Spidey recollects his past while facing off against the Shocker and Iceman has flashbacks of when he joined the original X-Men, as well as a fun first meeting between Spidey, Iceman, and Jolly J. Jonah Jameson. Season 3 most memorable episodes are A Strange Tale featuring Dracula, and the aptly titled episode The X-Men Adventure, which showcases the 1970s X-Men sans Wolverine, unfortunately, but a terrific team-up episode nonetheless. On par with the much more generally known Super Friends cartoon of the era, Spider-Man and His Amazing Friend is a fun, kid-friendly, odd, and zany, delightful product of its time. Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, Iceman and Firestar.
his amazing friend. Thanks for letting your geek flag fly with Mad About Superheroes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below.